Well, tonight we're going to talk politics, but not necessarily the vote counting part of it. We're going to talk about policy and people and how to recognize some of the dangers that are ahead and some that we've already been facing. Our guest tonight, Todd Starnes, a genuine wordsmith and a very good friend. We've chased barbecue all over New York together when we were both at Fox News. And Bob, Todd, you can say this. If you've ever read any of his books or articles, you may have noticed he's got a very playful and spot-on use of language. He's fun to read, even as he writes about some deadly serious stuff. He's got a brand new book. It's called Twilight's Last Gleaming, Can America Be Saved? Todd Starnes, welcome to the show. I want to get right to it. So let's ask the question, can America be saved? Absolutely, America can be saved. Uh, Governor, thank you for, for having me on today. And I, yeah, I'm very hopeful. Uh, the, the, the issue here, though, and it's an issue we've been grappling with for a very long time is, and, and the real question is whether or not we want to save America. And I think we certainly answered that question on election night. When the American people rose up and said, you know what, we're, we're not willing to go down this, this leftist path that's leading us to communism and, and Marxism in, in the country. And now it's time to, to slam on the brakes, back up, and just take another look at, at who we are as an American people. And that's ultimately why I wrote Twilight's Last Gleaming. You know, Todd, uh, the election is less than a week old now. You and I had a conversation on your radio show the day before the election, and I told you that I thought Trump was going to win both the popular vote and win pretty much a landslide in the Electoral College. And I said, I'm going out on the limb. I may be totally humiliated in predicting it. And, and I just had that feeling. Turned out it was right. But I think it was a message from the American people, not the elites. It wasn't a message from yeah. Washington, New York, wasn't a message from Silicon Valley or Hollywood. It was a message from flyover country. And people were saying something to America. I, I kind of think your book uh, now has a definitive answer, just as you said. Can America be saved? The answer is yes. And it's because the American people rose up and woke up. So I was catching a lot of grief, uh, Governor, because really for the weeks leading up to the election, I was telling people I've got great hope. Uh, I'm feeling great about the election. I think Trump's going to win in, in big, big numbers. And people thought I was um, maybe I had been putting something in my Milo sweet tea, uh, but I had not. And look, I think ultimately you and I share a, a similar upbringing and we grew up in working class homes. Uh, I'm not one of these Upper East Side political pundits. I'm not one of the inside the beltway politicos. No, I'm from the deep south. I live in flyover country, go to church on Sunday. Uh, my mom and dad raised me to say yes, ma'am, no, sir, and to respect people and to honor the flag in our military. And so when, you know, when, when I look at the conservative world, you know what? I am one of those people. I don't get paid to play make-believe conservative. I am one of those people. And it didn't take me long to figure out that the American people, those blue-collar workers, hardworking patriots, that you reach a point where, you know, calling someone a Nazi, calling someone deplorable, calling someone a fascist or a racist or garbage. Yeah, I, I think the American people said, you know what, that's it. We, we've had enough here. You know, the economy is uncertain. You never know whether your money's worth as much today as it was yesterday. It's one of the reasons I buy gold from American Hartford Gold. American Hartford Gold has earned a five star rating and an A plus from the Better Business Bureau. Be sure to tell them Mike Huckabee sent you. They'll give you up to $15,000 of free silver on your first qualifying order. Call 844-417-1010 or text Mike to 998899. You'll be glad you did business with American Hartford Gold. Todd, you wrote the book Twilight's Last Gleaming before the election, so it, it was not necessarily written to be a book of prophecy, but maybe it turned out to be. When you think about what is the most important and challenging issue that America faces, how would you define it? Well, it's the issue that we faced back in the 1960s and the 1970s, going all the way back really to the 1940s when you had the rise of communism and you had the Red Scare 
Uh, you had Hollywood that had been infiltrated by the communists. And that really did become the, um, the focus of the book. You know, long before people were talking about communism being a, a huge part of this election cycle, uh, I had written the book. It came out in March. And I warned people that what was happening today happened back in um, back in the 1940s and 50s. I, I write about Ronald Reagan and William F. Buckley Jr. And both of those men were tackling communism. They were fighting the communists. And of course, their fight gave birth to the modern day conservative movement. And what was interesting about Reagan and Buckley, uh, very well-educated men, learned men, uh, Buckley, of course, coming out of the Ivy Leagues, uh, Reagan had an incredible career in Hollywood and led the Screen Actors Guild. But what they both had in common was they understood that the fight against the communists, even though it was a real fight and a clear and present danger to the country, to the Republic, it was not a political fight. It was actually a moral fight. This was an issue of right versus wrong. And so that's why poli you can't fight communism with politics, which is why I was greatly concerned to see the church over the past decade or so disengaging from the culture war fight. And I believe that's one of the reasons why the country got to the condition it was in is because so many churches stood down uh, during these important days.